Hi, I'm Ariel, and I'm the lead narrative writer on League of Legends. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm a producer on the creative development team. And today, we're here to talk about the Runeterra map and why we're excited about it. We'd also like to talk to you a little bit about the stories we released with the map and how they let us see a little bit more of Runeterra, world runes, and magic. So, who needs a map? Well, it turns out we do. <laughs> when I first started Riot as a writer, one of the first things I asked for was a map. Uh, maps help us align in our storytelling and let us know where we're going and what we're doing. So we took all the bits and pieces of what we did have and we started to assemble them all together in figuring out what was still missing. Fun fact, Demacia actually started on the back of a napkin, so we needed to take all these different ideas that we had and put them together in one place, and from there we ended up building out the larger Runeterra. So in order to make Runeterra as believable as possible, we focused a lot about the physical geography of the world, where mountains were, where rivers were, how people might settle that land. With that kind of information, then we can talk about what kind of food people eat, what the climate's like, how they get along with each other, where they might move in terms of migration to seek those things out, and that lets us understand where the borders between all of our factions are. If we're going to have somebody march from the capital of Noxus to the borders of the Freljord, it would be really great to understand how long that journey takes and what they might encounter along the way. So in addition to the map, we also released some stories to help give some more context around the world and some of the various places that you might be able to interact with. So in the right short, we see him traveling and ultimately collecting a world rune by the end. And we see him interacting with a bunch of champions that we know and love, like Sona and MF and Nasus. And this is really important because we're showing the widespread consequences of what runes can have in Runeterra. The focus on magic is because being such an important tenet of our world, we wanted to find ways that we can start talking about it so that we can bring more consistency and ultimately make the League of Legends world uniquely League of Legends. The map and all the other creative projects as part of this campaign were really labors of love, and we're super excited to finally get them into your hands. We want this map to continue growing with our storytelling, so always check back for more information, more uh, images, and more points on the map to explore. And we would love to hear your feedback, so be sure to let us know what you think about the map. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, we'll provide some links so that you could find it. And until then, thanks for tuning in.